Hello guys and welcome, today I'm going to prove that if you upgraded your RAM you'll automatically get a higher performance at least if you are running on an Intel HD or a Ryzen APU so let's get started so in the previous video I said that if you upgraded your RAM it's a guaranteed improvement uh, but what I didn't say is just by how much so today I'm going to show you just how much performance can you get if you upgrade it from 4 gigs of RAM to 8 gigs. I'll be using the same benchmarks uh, from my optimization video so Heaven, CSGO, GTAV and also all the optimizations from this video across both of the rigs uh, 4 gigs and 8 gigs but you don't have to do my optimizations to get uh, a performance increase but you might get just a little lower fps and uh, that's not a simulated test uh, it's a uh, physical uh, i swapped my 8 gigs of ram to 4 gigs to test that uh, but uh, both of them are the same speed so uh, we are only changing capacity here it's also running in single channel mode but if you can get it to work on dual channel uh, it's a big improvement you will even get higher fps so our test subject <laughs> will be my main laptop uh, it's a lenovo ideapad 100 with a core i3 5005u and an intel hd graphics uh, 5500 so first let's see our performance in 4 gigs then I'll go to the higher one, 8 gigs. So CSGO average around 32 frames per second with a minimum of 4, maximum of 33. It's all with low settings with all the recommended changes in the FPS benchmark. After we upgrade it to 8 gigs of RAM, we get a minimum of 4, maximum of 73, and an average of 33. Uh, GTA V 800 by 600 all lost settings with shadows disabled from low spec gamer uh, showed an average of 21 frames per second with a minimum of 0.1 and a maximum of 108. After we upgraded to 8 gigs, we got a minimum of 1 frame per second and a maximum of 59 with an average of 28. Heaven with the basic preset and that's a big one uh, we get a total score of 290 but with 8 gigs we get a, a total score of 334 so that's a huge improvement in heaven so as we can see here it's a big improvement in case of FPS and overall uh, system stability that's because uh, any integrated graphics, uh, whether it's an Intel HD or a Vega on a Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5, uh, don't come with me with VRAM. And what VRAM is, it's just like your normal system RAM, uh, but it's only for graphics. And that's important to keep your graphics at chip whether it's dedicated or integrated uh, fed with data just like your processor so what they will do is just take some of your RAM and use it as VRAM it adds uh, latencies and stuff but they can't run with VRAM so they have to do that and the problem here is your processor needs RAM to process the data so they are just fighting with each other to have uh, RAM capacity so if you increase your RAM capacity they don't have to fight uh, also dual channel memory helps uh, as it provide more bandwidth so if you can go dual channel you should go for it you will see even more improvement all the testing that I have done is with a single channel mode as my laptop doesn't support dual channel so now all of that is on the Intel side you just put more RAM it will automatically adjust itself but what if you have a Ryzen APU so I don't have a Ryzen APU system in my in my hand now so but the same terms apply 
The only difference being that you have to manually go into your BIOS uh, and uh, allow it to take more RAM. You can do that even if you are on 4 gigs, but I wouldn't recommend it as it's just not practical. Uh, and also as Ryzen is more RAM sensitive, you should see an improvement if you loaded a RAM timing profile like XMP for example. But guys, you have to understand that it's just not if you want more FPS, you just put more RAM in the system. Uh, it's deeper than that. And you will reach a point where you just not been bottlenecked by your VRAM, but with actual processing power, and that point is 8 gigs. If you are already on 8 gigs with that current RAM pricing, uh, I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, but, but if you are on 4 gigs, just go for it because you are really missing a lot. Now I covered only the gaming performance. Uh, but actually Linus uh, from Linus Tech Tips did a much much deeper video diving into that uh, and how much RAM should you put so you should check them out uh, he's a really cool guy you can obviously see that I'm a big fan of him from my channel name uh, but he just didn't take the Intel HD performance in his mind in his testing so I just wanted to point this out but Linus's video is so great you should absolutely go and watch it if you, if you are in the market for more RAM sticks. So thanks guys for watching see you in the next one.